This is a book bowl summary of the book Brain Food by Lisa Moscone. You are what you eat. You've heard the adage, and you know that what you consume affects your body's shape and fitness level. But do you ever think about the hungriest part of your body, your brain? When the brain doesn't get what it needs, its suffering manifests as brain fog, stress, and even dementia. With recipes and specifics on what to eat and what to avoid, they show how simple it can be to take control of your diet. Support your brain and in the process, get fit as a fiddle. 1. Historically, it was believed that Alzheimer's was a natural consequence of aging or bad genes. However, recent research has shown that less than 1% of cases are caused by genetics, while the majority are linked to lifestyle choices. Many other diseases are also linked to unhealthy lifestyles. Therefore, it's important to keep your neurons healthy and to engage in physical and mental activities. But the most crucial factor is maintaining a healthy diet. A new discipline called neutrogenomics now focuses on the relationship between food and genetics and how this interplay affects the body. The brain is particularly vulnerable to the effects of a poor diet. It requires more than 45 nutrients, which are obtained mainly through the foods we eat, to function optimally. These nutrients are used to replenish the brain's depleted storage and facilitate cellular reactions. Alzheimer's disease is an example of the severe impact that a lack of nutrition can have on the brain. But getting smart about what you eat helps in every aspect of your cognitive health. Whether to improve your memory, beat depression, or preserve your brain power as you age. 2. Staying hydrated makes you smarter. The brain is made up of 80% water, 11% fat, 8% protein, 3% vitamins and minerals, and a pinch of carbs. It floats inside your skull in a bath of cerebrospinal fluid. The brain is protected by the blood-brain barrier, which only allows certain substances needed for the brain function to cross the barrier. Water is essential for the brain, as it is involved in a chemical reactions that helps absorb nutrients, form proteins, and flush out waste products. Drinking 8 to 10 cups of water a day can boost brain performance by almost 30%, while dehydration can cause brain shrinkage. It is important to drink hard water that is high in minerals, which can be gotten from a tap or bottled spring water rather than purified water. Hard water is high in minerals like calcium and magnesium, so you can consider investing in a high-quality faucet filter for your tap that will remove contaminants but leave precious minerals. After a workout, hard water is more hydrating than most energy drinks, Eating fruits and vegetables that are high in water content, such as cucumbers and watermelon, can also contribute to daily water intake. To change things up, try drinking coconut water or aloe vera juice, or a spicy raspberry and orange water drink. 3. Your brain needs fats, but all fats are not created equal. High-fat diets are popular these days, such as keto and Atkins, with the idea that you need to eat fat to support your brain. However, it is important to distinguish between the two types of fat in the body, storage fat and structural fat. The brain only contains structural fat, which supports cells. These fats can be broken down into fatty acids, specifically saturated and unsaturated fats. When it comes to what you eat, the brain prefers unsaturated fats and dislikes saturated fats. Consuming too much saturated fat can cause inflammation throughout the body and limit oxygen flow to the brain. Studies have shown that consuming more than 25 grams of saturated fat per day can increase the risk of developing dementia. Trans fats in processed foods are even worse and should be avoided. Monounsaturated fats found in avocados, oats, olive oil, nuts, and whole milk products are preferred by the brain. The brain also needs polyunsaturated fats like omega-3s and omega-6s. But too much omega-6s can cause inflammation. Omega-3s are the top nutrient for fighting age-related cognitive decline and dementia. Cold water fish, caviar, salmon roe, walnuts, chia seeds, wheat germ, and spirulina are excellent sources of omega-3s. 4. Amino acids affect how well you think, feel, and sleep. The central nervous system controlled by the brain is made up of over 80 billion cells called neurons. These neurons can send signals to other cells. Proteins and their component amino acids play a vital role in the process of neurotransmitters that the brain uses to communicate and process information. Serotonin and dopamine are two examples of neurotransmitters. Serotonin influences emotional stability, sleep patterns, memory, and appetite while dopamine is in charge of cravings, movement control, and reward-motivated behavior. 
Abnormalities in neurotransmitters can lead to cognitive issues such as depression, which can affect attention and memory. A poor diet can lead to a depletion of neurotransmitters in the brain. Chia seeds, raw cacao, oats, spirulina, and pumpkin seeds are some plant-based foods that are high in tryptophan, which is important for serotonin production. Animal products such as full-fat goat's milk and yogurt or fish like tuna or salmon also contain tryptophan. An author suggests preparing a dish of wild Alaskan salmon with brown rice or having warm milk and honey before bed for a good night's sleep. If you're learning something new in this video, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. 5. Glucose Keeps the Brain Running Carbohydrates can be a controversial topic in dieting, but for the brain, the sugar called glucose is key. The brain relies entirely on glucose for energy, which is supplied by carbohydrate-rich foods, which are broken down into glucose and absorbed into the bloodstream to feed the brain's cells. An adult brain needs about 62 grams of glucose per day to stay healthy and active. Red beets, onions, turnips, and rutabaga are the best natural sources of glucose. Fruits like kiwi, grapes, and dates, as well as pure maple syrup and honey are also high in glucose. However, consuming too much sugar, especially unrefined white sugar, can cause high blood sugar levels and increase the risk of dementia and other conditions such as inflammation, type 2 diabetes, and metabolic disorders. Instead, focus on complex carbs and starches like sweet potatoes, berries, grapefruit, pumpkin, carrots, lentils, chickpeas, and whole grains. Fiber can help prevent blood sugar spikes. If you have a sweet tooth, load up on fiber, which prevents blood sugar spikes because it's harder for your body to break down. For a sweet treat, try dark chocolate or air-popped popcorn. 6. Vitamins protect your brain and boost cognitive performance. Vitamins play a crucial role in maintaining the health and function of the brain. Vitamins E and C act as antioxidants, protecting the brain from damage caused by toxins, free radicals, and pollution. Meanwhile, vitamin B6 is involved in the production of neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that transmit signals in the brain. Studies have shown that consuming foods rich in vitamin B can prevent up to 25% of dementia and stroke cases. Eating whole foods rather than supplements are the best way to get the necessary vitamins for the brain as they have a nutrient synergy that can be replicated by supplements. That is, popping a vitamin C pill every day isn't the same as drinking fresh lemon juice. Luckily, many vitamin-packed food sources are hiding in plain sight. Almonds and flax seeds are rich in vitamin E, while citrus and berries provide vitamin C. The author's secret weapon is dandelion greens, which she grew up eating in Italy. This unassuming weed contains vitamin C, A, and B, as well as brain-boosting minerals like iron, potassium, and zinc. Finally, eggs are a great source of choline, which improves memory function. Other choline sources include fish, shiitake mushrooms, almonds, wheat germs, and quinoa. 7. A healthy gut leads to a happy brain. Our early ancestors were hunters and gatherers who ate grasses, seeds, fruits, roots, and the occasional fish. Meat, dangerous and difficult to obtain, was a rare treat. Meanwhile, the modern Western diet is known to rely on processed meats, grains, and dairy products, which can have negative effects on your gut and brain health. 80% of antibiotics sold in the U.S. are used to treat livestock instead of people. Your gut microbiome is made up of nearly 100 trillion bacteria, along with viruses, fungi, and other microbes. Your gut flora helps to digest food, protecting against pathogens, and producing beneficial fatty acids. Surprisingly, these fatty acids can directly alter the function of the blood-brain barrier, which can affect the passage of nutrients and foreign substances. To keep your gut health, it is recommended to eat organic produce, especially the Dirty Dozen, which are the fruits and vegetables that contain the most pesticide. It is also recommended to consume organic, free-range varieties of meat, dairy, and eggs. Fiber-rich foods and probiotic foods like sauerkraut and yogurt can also support your gut health. New research shows that changes in your gut microbiome can influence the risk of brain disorders like anxiety and depression, and that probiotics could be an effective treatment. 8. Your brain needs healthy food, daily exercise, and good company to flourish. The Blue Zones 
are five regions around the world that have an unusually high concentration of centenarians. These people not only live longer, but also have low rates of cancer, obesity, heart disease, and dementia. They have a similar lifestyle that includes strong bonds with family and friends. They also have daily physical activities like gardening and walking. But the most notable thing about the people in this region is the fact that their diets are very similar. The centenarians start their day with a large breakfast, a moderate lunch, and a small early dinner, which naturally incorporates intermittent fasting. Their diet revolves around fresh vegetables, fruits, legumes, and grains, which contain brain essential vitamins, lean protein, and good carbs and fats. On average, they consume fish and meat only five times a month and in small portions. This lowers their intake of saturated fat and cholesterol while still providing vital nutrients. Finally, these centenarians commonly drink one or two glasses of alcohol per day, usually red wine, an excellent source of anti-aging antioxidants when ingested in moderation with food. It's important to note that what works for one person may not work for another, so find what works for you, and above all, strive to reduce stress and enjoy life. We hope this video provided valuable insight and information for you. As you know, certain nutrients can be beneficial for brain health. Do you prefer to obtain these nutrients from food sources or from supplements? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you learned something new in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Until next time.